We're going to run this, uh, rig this bait for a circle hook. So we're going to rig the uh, the hook on the top of the um, the body. To start with, we're going to stitch the uh, the head here to the to the mantle or to the to the body of the uh, the squid, so that it doesn't basically fall off. Just going to come up about an inch from the uh, the bottom of the tube here. We're going to come in through the solid part of the head there and slide that head up into that body using the needle to kind of position it up inside the the mantle it's just going to push it through there and pull that loop so it's about an inch off the top of the squid just going to get both our tag ends and one's going to go one way and back through the loop one's going to go the other way and back through the loop then we're going to roll it back over, pull both tags here, pull it up until it's tight on the top of the head. So we'll just pull that up nice and tight. That's going to hold the tentacles in the head into the mantle of the squid. Just going to do a finishing knot here, so we're going to do one one way, one the other, and then we're going to do an overhand knot to finish it off. Pull that up down tight, that's going to lock that off, get our knife, trim that away, that's that head connected to that body, laid out nicely. I'm going to get some uh, wax floss, this stuff's 50 pounds. I'm going to grab a long piece, probably about um, I don't know, roughly two meters long or so, a meter and a half, cut that off. through the iron needle and then uh, about two thirds of the way down your squid we're going to start by just going completely through and we're going to work our way up the bottom we're going to pull that halfway through that piece of wax floss then we're going to start cross stitching our way up the squid every couple of inches or so pull that through nice pull it up nice and snug keep while keeping your squid nice and laid out Pull it up nice and tight, nice and snug, working our way up the body. Then on our last one here, we're going to poke it through a couple of times, pull that up, and to finish her off, we're going to come back through the same hole underneath both those stitches there, poke it up and right out the very top of that mantle, out the very top. I'm going to pull that through, leave that one laying out the top, grab our other side here. back through the needle and all we're going to do is go through that in reverse back through the same holes already so we're going to start there and we're just literally going to cross stitch our way up to the top of the squid pulling it up nice and snug doesn't have to be tight but just snug pulling that through and cross stitching our way up Just like the last piece, we're just going to go through twice on this one. And back through both those, back through the top of the mantle, out the same hole as the last one, pull it off. And there we go, that's ready to be uh, tied onto our circle hook. Both your tags there off the top that we then tie it onto our circle hook with. Just like that. And now we're gonna tie it onto the hook. 
We've just done an overhand knot on our two loops, pull them up tight, get the bait into the position on where you want it on the hook. And we just do a series of half hitches up the shank of the hook. So it's nice and solid. Tie it off, cut the tag ends off and it's good to go. Well, yeah, all the gear that you saw for that swordfish bait, the leader, the hooks, the crimps and the lights are all part of the new Bonds Gladiator swordfish range. And now we just got to hope that the squid is going to be appealing to one of the swordfish that are down there. <laughs> well, there's the squid you saw Tony rig up. You can see our initial bite there, the slash in the squid, but he obviously came back again. And there is a perfect example of why we use circle hooks. A perfect hook in the side of the mouth is a much smaller chance of the fish being gut hooked and damaged, regurgitating the bait and dropping off your line. It's also much less likely to get foul hooked. Swordfish are notoriously messy eaters and using the traditional J hooks, you can hook them in their dorsal fins, pectoral fins, pretty much anywhere. So that's why we use circle hooks, and that's a perfect example of why. A textbook hook up in the corner of the mouth. The result, a beautiful swordfish on the deck of the boat. Cool.